Be whoever you need to be with Vital. Okay, so uh, we're starting off 2012 and we want to make sure that every single morning when you wake up, wherever you're going, whether it be to school or to work or wherever it is, that you are in a good mood. And that starts off with, first with what you with take espresso. in. With espresso. <laughs> yes, yes, tuning in at 5.30 in the morning. And along with Andrea, we're going to be exploring the world of food and what foods you can, you can eat in the mornings that will get you that good mood kind of vibe, hey? Well, absolutely. I mean, if you talk about mood food, there are definitely foods that affect our mood. Yes. Which ones come to mind if you think of foods that put you in a good mood? Happy food for me is uh, strawberries. I don't okay. know why, but strawberries are happy food for me. Yes. I like bananas. They're always like, because I used to Ooh, do that. We've got some banana here. Yes. yes. I eat lots of bananas. Those get me into a happy yeah. mood. But what is it about food that, or these specific foods, that gets you into that happy mood? You know, um, there are certain things like um, good memories. So maybe with the strawberries. I mean, there, there are certainly nutrients in there that can support good mood. But yes. often for people, it's, it's like comfort food and that sort of thing. But there are certainly foods also that can affect your brain chemistry and support the release of, of those happy hormones. Endorphins, as they call it. Yeah. So here we've got a whole display. Uh -huh. And the idea is now um, to, to try and put together a good mood breakfast. Yes. And you'll see I snuck in some lentils there. Not, not to, to suggest <laughs> that for breakfast, just because I love lentils so much and they're so beneficial and they also qualify as a good mood food. Okay. But if you look at this, the rest of the selection here, we've got some muesli mm -hmm. and specifically the vital low GI muesli. Uh -huh. So there are two factors here. Firstly, the muesli contains grains and nuts yes. and they contain nutrients that help build serotonin in your brain, which is one of those happy hormones. Uh -huh. um, so that's a good way to start your day. And I'm not kidding you, I actually had some of this yesterday, right? Oh, um, yes? And because it, 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 the whole low GI thing means that it, it releases energy slower over a longer period of Absolutely. time. And you feel fuller as well. Yes. I had like three spoons or something and then I think I had it at nine o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock, I was still feeling rather fine. Well, you see, that's, that's the whole point. That's just, and that's the second point. Apart from the, the um, nutrients that support the good uh, mood um, sort of hormones in your in, and, and um, chemicals in your brain, yes. the low GI helps keep your blood sugar levels um, constant. Yes. And you know that if somebody's blood sugar levels go a bit low, they get a bit cranky uh -huh. and the mood goes a bit sour. Yes, yes. So that's why low GI is always the best um, way to start your day. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have your muesli. What else is there? Okay, what we also have here is some grated apple, mm -hmm. um, some chopped banana. These also contain those good mood nutrients. And then we've got walnuts that are rich in a Omega-3. Uh -huh. Now you, that's also good for your brain, mm -hmm. but also for hormones and brain chemistry for some p positive emotions. And we spoke yesterday to the little kids that were going back to school. Yes. And of course, if, you, if they had that for breakfast, it would kind of help them to have their concentration levels up mm, when absolutely. they get to school, right? Yes. yes. So um, what I've got here is some pre-soaked muesli. You can even go as far as soaking your muesli in robusti. There we've got a cup of robusti which one can chill Whoa. and soak it. Yes, the night before, or even better, some chamomile tea. You know, um, often people suffer with anxiety. Okay. If, if I think about the feeling I had Monday morning going back to work after two weeks holiday, yes. um, you feel a bit anxious. And chamomile tea contains properties that help you relax and it relieves anxiety. So you can even pre-soak your muesli in some chamomile tea and then add some yogurt or milk, some fruit, and to top it off, some cinnamon. And cinnamon wow. also contains some e positive e effects on your mood. That is so yes. crazy. I would have never ever thought of this. And then you also have these seeds. These are? Those are um, flax seeds or linseeds, seeds, <coughs> also rich in omega-3. You often find them in your mueslis anyway. And then there we've got oats. So for you, if, if you don't want to have a muesli for breakfast, oats is the second option, yeah. I would say. Yes. And would you have them just like this or would you kind of you know, grain, them, grain them before the time because they, they're are they hard to digest? Yeah, with, with nuts, you don't um, have to grind them, with, but with seeds, you have to, because otherwise they don't break down properly in your digestive system. Yes. <laughs> so if you grind them up, your body's actually able to absorb all the nutrients that's in there. Lovely stuff. Wow, yes. all of these things. But I must say the most coolest and most original idea is that of soaking your muesli in tea. I mean, I've never, ever heard well, that. Well, just a note there. Life. Soak it the night before, early in the morning, and chill it. Otherwise, it's going to be hot. So it's really nice if you have your pre-soaked muesli chilled yeah. with grated apple and cinnamon and a bit of yogurt. That's could one of you, my favorites. Could you soak it in your own rooibos iced tea that you made? Yes, you can do that. Oh, That's even better. <laughs> winner, winner, loving it. Thank you very much for that, Andrea. Really, really appreciate it. And of course, for more questions, people can go to your uh, Twitter, at Andrea Duplessy, and there's Facebook as well. Yes. How many likes do you have now? Um, almost 3,000. Hey, almost there. Hey. So, 
Yeah. 3,000 is like that drink when you know, ah, now I'm a celebrity. <laughs> Thank you very much. I feel appreciate. very liked. <laughs> well, we'll be right back on Expresso right after this break. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.